Hello, Scorpio. This is your reading for the second through the third. This is for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe, guys. If this reading resonates for you, that will be wonderful. Um, especially if it's good. <laughs> Let's see. If it does not resonate for you, please don't try to make it fit. Um, take out of it what resonates with you and then leave the rest. Okay, guys? All right. Here we go for my Scorpios. All right. So we've got several cards that jumped out here. Let's see what we've got. The Six of Swords. Some of you are moving on begrudgingly. Um, you feel like you have no other choice. Aquarius energy there. Going into a new cycle. Feeling like something has completed. Um, wrapping up something here. There's an accomplishment here. And, you know, even if what you're leaving behind was hurtful. Because with the Six of Swords, you've been hurt before. And you're just trying to move past it at this point. Okay? So that's being wrapped up. And you're going into a new cycle. But what's coming in is um, there, there's some deceitful energy here. And either, either there is something that you guys are trying to figure out that, um, you know, that is beneficial for you. Or there's somebody that's coming in for you that um, would not very good energy. Uh, this is this is almost like an opportunist type of energy here with the Seven of Swords. That's trying to come in, okay. Or maybe you guys are trying to go back, and you're trying to figure out how you can um, make a situation better, okay. So either this is you guys, you know, trying to move forward, trying to like really um, map out your next steps, your next move. But I think you're wanting to revisit something here. There's something that you're wanting to bring back. All right. If not that, like I said, there's somebody coming in. I feel that um, they're coming in and they've made the decision. Okay. A, a very like solid decision that they they want to come back but they're coming back for a reason okay and it's a self-serving reason let's see what we've got hmm either this person is very like sexually attracted to you um they want to start over with you or they're leaving behind um, they're leaving behind the energy of, you know, something that they started before that didn't pan out for them. Okay. A situation didn't pan out for them. Or this is you guys, like I said, mapping out your steps, thinking about starting over with someone, sparking an interest in someone, or you have an interest in something that you're wanting to revisit, but you're really trying to plan out your steps on how to do it. Okay. Let's see what other cards we get here. The Three of Swords, yeah. Um, you guys have been through some heartbreak here, and you're still heartbroken over it. I feel like a lot of you are thinking that, you know, things are your fault is what I'm getting here for some of you. Others of you are um, feeling really, like, deceived by somebody. Feeling like somebody got away with something. Maybe they cheated on you. They lied to you. They hid things from you. They weren't transparent. You know, those types of things. And I feel like you guys are really trying to move out of that energy. But a lot of you are still very hurt right now. Very hurt right now, okay? Yeah, you really don't know what has happened um, in this situation. You really don't know why this person did whatever they did. And I feel like this person was very secretive, very secretive 
um, they hit a lot of things and this person you're probably not even speaking to right now but I, you know if somebody left you and they did this to you I feel like this person's coming back because whatever they left and started it didn't pan out for them so they're coming back okay so keep that in mind guys but this person um, I feel like they hit a lot of things from you they probably didn't tell you how they feel either how they felt rather hmm and there's something that's drawing you guys um, to this person, I feel. You guys are connected here. King of Coins. Hmm. This person um, may have been married. And... Um, I'm just getting that they may have been married. They may have been married while you guys were together. <clears throat> Excuse me. Gracious. You know, whenever I get choked up like that, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm stepping on something right there. Like I'm speaking on something that is like really significant. But this person may have been married when you guys were together. And um, they may have left and went back. But I feel like they're coming back your way. Um, Taurus energy here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe Piscean energy, Aquarius energy. Um, Libra's here as well. But I feel like this is more so you guys um, being broken hearted here. Okay. But I feel like this person's coming back. And I feel like they're very secretive. Very elusive. Okay. <clears throat> Seven of Cups. There's a lot that um, you still don't know about this person. You feel like they had, you know, they they may have had other options, and I feel like, you know, in this instance, they they probably did. They probably had somebody else um, that you may not have known about, even a mistress for some of you guys that they um, or somebody else on the side. Period. Does not have to be a mistress, okay? But. Yeah, they were keeping their options open, honestly. And so, and they kept a lot of things hidden from you. And you're just very confused, I feel, right now. And you're wanting to explore your options at this point. But I'm telling you, friends, this, this person is, um, they're coming back. They're coming back, I feel. Okay. The ton of coins there. And I feel like they ran out on you and you guys were in a in a committed relationship. What you felt like was a committed relationship. And they um, probably are still married if they come back. Okay. But they're going to come back, I feel, to try to establish something with you as well. Maybe this person's in a situation where they're married, but... Um, but they do have other relationships outside of the marriage uh, or even, you know, they just don't get a divorce. They just leave that door open with people, even their husband or their wife, and they just continue to move however they feel like they want to. I feel like you guys are very connected. I feel like you you sense something about them and you probably are sharing your dreams with this person. Because they are very drawn to you. But they're very secretive as well. Very secretive here. But I think you guys know. You know. You know. That this person. You know. Behaves and maneuvers a certain way here. They date around. They like attention. But you guys have. You have options as well, okay? You have options as well. People find you very attractive. And I see there's an opportunity for some of you to, um, to really be successful in your job or your business here. Do what makes you feel good. Do what makes, you know, what's going going to bring success, you know, your way here. 
because you are wrapping up a cycle you have accomplished something here and I feel like there's a lot that you have learned about yourself and about other people and establishing your boundaries and not letting anyone infiltrate those boundaries here not let anyone get away with this type of um, behavior in this seven of swords energy you know map out your steps because I do feel like you guys have options here and I think there is um, something financial that um, that you will be very successful in okay you guys are very attractive and I, I feel like you know a lot of people are attracted to you and would like to date you but right now I feel like you're still very hurt and and you're trying to get over this situation guys okay so we have Leo here um, Virgo Pisces, Aquarius, energy, Libra energy here. All right, guys. So I will be speaking with you guys soon.